Yeah, welcome to my channel. We are still dealing with grouped data. Yeah, and we are done with calculating for median for group data. Yeah, we are going to the measures of dispersion. The remaining ones are the measures of dispersion. So in this video, we are going to look at range and then mean deviation. Yeah. So we said range it it already shows the difference between the highest and the lowest figures. So the formula for range is highest minus lowest, even for group data, it doesn't change. But this time around, we are going to use the class boundary. Our class boundary was here. The lowest class is 9.5 and the highest is 59.5. So we get this minus this to get our range. So... 59.5 minus 9.5 we put it in the calculator 59.5 minus 9.5 we get 50 so our range is 50 dollars yeah then the next we are going to look at is mean deviation and the formula for calculating for mean deviation is summation f summation f into brackets x minus x bar out of summation f yeah, so according to this formula we need the column of f we need the column of x then we need the column of x bar then we need x minus x bar column and then the column of f times x minus x bar so it's what we have here we do not forget a column of class yeah, because it's the first thing we do if we are handling such questions. We start with a column of class and we copy it like the way it was given in the question. The way it is here is the way we put it here. Then frequency, it is also the way it was given. We say the number of students give us the frequency. So this, we put it here like the way it is. Yes, so we get summation F, we had already calculated for it, add this, which is 60. Yeah. After that, the column of X, the column of X, we do, we get the average of the classes. So it is 10 plus 19 divided by 2, which is 14.5. Then the next one, it is 20 plus 29 divided by 2, which is 24.5. So we do the same thing for the rest, and that is x. Then x bar, x bar is the mean. x bar means mean, and in one of our videos, we had calculated for mean, and mean was 32.3. So it is our x bar. Mean is our x bar. So x bar it is the mean. 32.3. We'll put it here throughout. Then we need the column of x minus x bar. We get this minus this. Yeah, so the first one is 14.5 minus 32.3 which is negative 17.8 but we ignore the negative and we just put 17.8 then the next one it is 24.5 minus 32.3 which is negative 7.8 we ignore the negative and we put 7.5 the next is 34.5 minus 32.3 we get 2.2 we put it there we do the same thing for the remaining yeah after that we shall need f times x minus x bar so we get our f which is the frequency times this to get this so the first one is 8 
8 times 17.8, which is 142.4, so what we put here. Then the next it is 16, 16 times this, 7.8, which is 124.8. Yeah, it is 124.8. Change it. Yeah. Then the, we, we do the same thing for the rest of the figures. After that, we get the summation F into brackets X minus X bar. And this is the one. Yeah, so after getting the summation, the next thing we, knew, we, we need to do is to substitute in the formula. Our formula was summation, summation f into brackets x minus x bar. We have it here. Then out of summation f, which is here. So we, we substitute in, which is 535.8. Divide by 60, 8.93, and it's what we have as our mean deviation. And that is how to calculate for mean deviation for group data, and then the range. Thanks for watching.